local theater is the heartbeat of Chicago, and the Imposters Theater Company encourages its members to be hands-on with every aspect of the production process, putting local writers and actors, stage managers and directors on Chicago's center stage. Joining us to talk about the first production of their fifth season, The Last Living Gun, artistic director Stefan Rosine and actress Nyasia Ellison. Hi. Thank you Hello. so much. Hello. Stefan, thank you so much. Us. Yeah. Of course. So Stefan, you yes. are the director here. Yes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about this theater company. Yeah, so the Imposters Theater Company is an ensemble of multidisciplined theater artists united under the mission to embrace the art of pretend. Uh, we produce predominantly brand new original work uh, written by local writers and then performed and designed Ooh. by local artists. So if I was a writer who wanted to get one of my shows out there, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming it's not that easy where I say, right. hey, Stefan, here you go. <laughs> hey. uh, how, what is that process like? Yeah, so actually, um, Ryan Stevens, who wrote The Last Living Gun, yeah. mm -hmm. went about this process. So Ryan okay. is not part of our ensemble, but Ryan saw one of our productions in the winter, which was Miranda ah. War Torn Fable, which is our very first musical we ever did. That was penned by Dominic Vincent Alicia, who okay. is actually also in The Last Living yes. Gun and yes. also composed original music for The Last Living Gun. Okay, so Nyasia, you yes. are you are the star in this, in, in this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? right? Yes. So how did you get connected with the theater company? Yeah, so I actually worked with the Imposters Theater Company in what, was it 2018 we did? I believe it was 2018. Yeah, yeah 2018 and we yeah. worked together for the first time yes. for a production called The Wood mm -hmm. um, and I played a fairy and so I love the style that Imposters Theater Company really produced in terms of like forcing you to use your imagination and challenging your creativity. Mm -hmm. And so when I heard about The Last Living Gun, it's mm -hmm. like, well, who better than myself to play <laughs> the roles of Sharon Crutcher, you yes. know? Good for you. Yeah. Thank and you. And how are you using kind of the Imposters Theater style in The Last yes. Living Gun? Yes, so we're doing a lot of dancing, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. it's like a vaudevillain type western, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of dancing, there's yes. singing, yes. there are, there's puppetry, mm -hmm. there's um, really just a, everything, all things theater and all things imagination that you can really think of. There's a yes. live music, yes. there's a band, yeah, um, yeah there's a wow. lot of things that's going on on, but of course, captivating storytelling in a way that really is creative and mm -hmm. forces you to use your imagination. Yes. Okay, so Stefan, for somebody yes. that's not seen one of your shows, yes. you're talking about this, you know, imposter's theater style. Yes. You keep mentioning this. Like, yes. what is that? Describe, tell us yeah. exactly what that means. Like, how, yeah. how are you different than other storefront theaters out there in Chicago? Yeah, so um, our style is very niche, I guess I would yeah. say. Yeah. Um, we, like, Nigel was saying with the vaudevillian style. You can kind of translate that over to Brechtian style. So Spark Notes version of Brechtian style is that yes, there's a please, lot give us of, that. <laughs> there's a lot of really alienation <laughs> effects used within our production, which means if you're watching a show, we're not trying to convince you that what is happening in front of you is reality. Oh, that's yes. this is what I'm talking yes. about. Yeah. This is yes. what I needed to know. Okay. Yes. So that's why we utilize music and dance okay. and puppetry okay. and whatever best serves the story yes. we use. And so so theater for me um, is one of the most uh, collaborative art forms, mm -hmm. you know, and it really does require you to use all elements. And um, I think sometimes that gets lost when we're watching theater, some uh, theater productions. Sometimes we get stuck in very um, rich kind of kitchen sink dramas. And we are wanting to invite our audiences, our more so adult audiences, to kind of tap into that childhood abandon and childhood imagination again by forcing them and, or asking them to uh, uh, use your, use their ah. brains and yeah, imagination tap into and that uh, imagination. play pretend. I love that. Yes. Yeah, play pretend, like exactly. the Peter Pan yeah. version. You know, exactly. like yeah, yes. be pretend. So with the Last Living Gun, yes. the storyline is that it is the last gun. Yes. In the world? <laughs> yes. So it's a vaudevillian western, yeah. and it tells the tall tale of a courier named Rose of Sharon Crutcher. And at first, you know, she's hired to find the last gun or the only gun that's left, and it's a, in a post-apocalyptic world. Mm -hmm. And so at some point, the antagonist enters, gunning for not the weapon itself, but for Rose of Sharon. And so it's kind of like a play where it's funny, there's some comedy mm -hmm. to it, yeah. but there's a level to the delivery that makes the emotional punch all the more gut-wrenching when they mm. land, yes. Wow. And it's like, in a play, that it's a show that'll make you laugh, 
but there's some seriousness to it, and you may be laughing about the show, but until the plot catches up with us in terms mm -hmm. of, like, the all-too-familiar reality that we live in as mm -hmm. Americans, you know, it really examines our love-hate relationship with guns, mm -hmm. but, of course, under a harmless farce. Yeah. With the puppets. Wow. Right. With the puppets. Amazing. Yeah. You guys are awesome. We yeah. really appreciate thank you coming you. Oh, by. Thank you. You guys, you can purchase tickets to The Last Living Gun by yes. calling the Den Theater's box office at the number you see there on your screen, or you can even connect with them on their website at theimpostortheater.com or Instagram or Facebook, even if you're interested in joining up. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yeah. I'm sold. I'm fascinated. <laughs> Thank you so everything. much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much.